You're going to watch, 10 most muscular animals you got to see. Welcome to Power Smarty. If you're excited to know the most muscular animal, you should stay until the end. Number 1 will shock you. Everybody knows bodybuilders love to work out and build up that muscle mass and get buff. But not even the best and most professional, get close to beating the animals in this video. The animals in this video don't even need to work out to be all buff and shredded, because these animals are naturally gifted with the gift of a great physique. 10. Gorilla. Gorillas have larger muscles in their arms than in their legs, the opposite is true for humans. This is primarily due to the fact that they use their increased arm strength for bending and gathering foliage and for defense. Although capable of walking upright on two feet they most often walk as a quadruped, on four limbs. Gorilla's arms are much longer than their legs and their arm span is about 30 centimeters, one foot, longer than that of an adult human male. The elongated arms indicate a tree-dwelling ancestry even though gorillas are now primarily terrestrial, ground-dwelling. An adult gorilla's upper body strength is six times more powerful than that of an adult human, enabling them to lift, break, and squeeze heavy objects. Gorillas have a distinctive shape in that their stomachs are larger than their chests. Their stomach size is attributed to their enlarged intestine which digests the bulky fibrous vegetation they consume. The gorilla is the largest of all primates. Western lowland adult male gorillas are about 1.7 meters, 66.9 inches, in body length and weigh about 169.5 kilograms, 374 pounds. Adult females are about 1.5 meters, 59.1 inches, in body length and weigh about 71.5 kilograms, 158 pounds. If you thought number 10 was muscular you should see number 1. 9. Giraffe. Given that a giraffe's legs are longer than most humans are tall, at 6 feet long, it's perhaps unsurprising that they can generate a lot of power. In fact, a giraffe's kick can generate an impact of 2,000 pounds of force per square inch (psi). That's about the same as the strongest kick ever recorded from a horse and a lot more powerful than a kangaroo kick, which generates just 850 psi. As for humans, the most powerful impact recorded in Thai kickboxing was a relatively puny 450 psi though that's still more than enough to fracture a skull or dislocate a jaw, as fans of the sport will know. Even more dangerously, and unlike a horse, a giraffe can kick in any direction. There's a good reason why experienced safari guides rarely let themselves or their guests get too close to a giraffe, even from behind. A giraffe doesn't kick out of aggression, of course, but only when frightened and attempting to defend itself. Evolution has made sure that its kick is strong enough to disable or kill a predator, which is why even the fiercest carnivores will generally only attack an adult giraffe if truly desperate, starving, or plain stupid. 8. Bear. Bears are generally bulky and robust animals with short tails. They have gender differences with regard to size, with males typically being larger. Larger species tend to show increased levels of gender differences in comparison to smaller species. Relying as they do on strength rather than speed, bears have relatively short limbs with thick bones to support their bulk. The shoulder blades and the pelvis are correspondingly massive. The limbs are much straighter than those of the big cats as there is no need for them to flex in the same way due to the differences in their gait. The strong forelimbs are used to catch prey, to excavate dens, to dig out burrowing animals, to turn over rocks and logs to locate prey, and to club large creatures. Brown and American black bears are generally diurnal, meaning that they are active for the most part during the day, though they may forage substantially by night. Other species may be nocturnal, active at night, Though female sloth bears with cubs may feed more at daytime to avoid competition from conspecifics and nocturnal predators. Bears are overwhelmingly solitary and are considered to be the most asocial of all the carnivora. 7. Belgian Blue. The Belgian Blue has a natural mutation in the myostatin gene which codes for the protein, myostatin, myo meaning muscle, and statin meaning stop. Myostatin is a protein that inhibits muscle development. This mutation also interferes with fat deposition, resulting in very lean meat. The truncated myostatin gene is unable to function in its normal capacity, resulting in accelerated lean muscle growth. Muscle growth is due primarily to physiological changes in the animal's muscle cells, fibers, from hypertrophy to a hyperplasia mode of growth. This particular type of growth is seen early in the fetus of a pregnant dam, which results in a calf that is born with two times the number of muscle fibers at birth than a calf with no myostatin gene mutation. In addition, a newborn double-muscled calf's birth weight is significantly greater than that of a normal calf. Belgian blue cattle have improved feed conversion ratio FCR, due to lower feed intake compared to weight gain due to an altered composition of body weight gain which includes increased protein and decreased fat deposition. 
The Belgian blues bone structure is the same as normal cattle, albeit holding a greater amount of muscle, which causes them to have greater meat to bone ratio. 6. Honey Badger. The honey badger is notorious for its strength, ferocity and toughness. It is known to savagely and fearlessly attack almost any other species when escape is impossible, reportedly even repelling much larger predators such as lion and hyena. Bee stings, porcupine quills, and animal bites rarely penetrate their skin. The honey badger has a fairly long body but is distinctly thick-set and broad across the back. Its skin is remarkably loose and allows it to turn and twist freely within it. The skin around the neck is 6 mm in, thick, an adaptation to fighting conspecifics. The head is small and flat, with a short muzzle. The eyes are small, and the ears are a little more than ridges on the skin, another possible adaptation to avoiding damage while fighting. The honey badger has short and sturdy legs, with five toes on each foot. The feet are armed with very strong claws, which are short on the hind legs and remarkably long on the forelimbs. The honey badger isn't even a badger at all and is more closely related to the fearsome wolverine. In fact, the Guinness Book of World Records has it down as the most fearless animal in the animal kingdom. It even takes down king cobras. So if you see one, stay away. 5. Horse. So, just how strong are horses? It's impossible to pin down a horse's strength exactly, but some large horse breeds have been known to pull up to three times their own weight. That means they might pull up to 2,500 pounds or more. Engineer James Watt was inspired by the strength of the horse when he came up with the term horsepower as a new unit of measurement. While working with horses lifting coal at a mine, Watt wanted a way to describe the power of the animals. Specifically, he wanted to measure how much energy it took a horse to raise coal out of the mine. Using the term horsepower, Watt guessed that a horse could do 33,000 foot-pounds of work in one minute. That's like saying a horse could lift 33,000 pounds exactly one foot in one minute. There are several other equivalent ways of expressing one horsepower, yet it stands as a popular measurement still today. You'll see horsepower referenced on all sorts of different engines, from cars and lawnmowers to chainsaws and vacuum cleaners. Most modern cars have between 100 and 200 horsepower. High-performance muscle cars might have upwards of 400 to 500 horsepower, though. 4. Snake Python the increased popularity of the reticulated python in the pet trade is due largely to increased efforts in captive breeding and selectively bred mutations such as the albino and tiger strains. It can make a good captive, but keepers should have previous experience with large constrictors to ensure safety to both animal and keeper. Although its interactivity and beauty draws much attention some feel it is unpredictable. It does not attack humans by nature, but will bite and possibly constrict if it feels threatened, or mistakes a hand for food. While not venomous, large pythons can inflict serious injuries, sometimes requiring stitches. The reticulated python is among the few snakes that prey on humans. Attacks on humans are not common, but this species has been responsible for several reported human fatalities, in both the wild and captivity. Considering the known maximum prey size, a full-grown reticulated python can open its jaws wide enough to swallow a human, but the width of the shoulders of some adult homo sapiens can pose a problem for even a snake with sufficient size. It does not attack humans by nature, but will bite and possibly constrict if it feels threatened, or mistakes a hand for food. 3. Lion. The lion is a muscular, deep-chested cat with a short, rounded head, a reduced neck, and round ears. Its fur varies in color from light buff to silvery gray, yellowish red, and dark brown. The colors of the underparts are generally lighter. A newborn lion has dark spots, which fade as the cub reaches adulthood, although faint spots often may still be seen on the legs and underparts. The lion is the only member of the cat family that displays obvious gender differences. Males have broader heads and a prominent mane that grows downwards and backward covering most of the head, neck, shoulders, and chest. The mane is typically brownish and tinged with yellow, rust, and black hairs. The tail of all lions ends in a dark, hairy tuft that in some lions conceals an approximately 5 mm in long, hard spine or spur that is formed from the final, fused sections of the tailbone. The functions of the spur are unknown. The tuft is absent at birth and develops at around five half months of age. It is readily identifiable by the age of seven months. Of the living felid species, the lion is rivaled only by the tiger in length, weight, and height at the shoulder. 2. Tiger. The tiger has a muscular body with powerful forelimbs, a large head, and a tail that is about half the length of its body. Its pelage is dense and heavy, and coloration varies between shades of orange and brown with white ventral areas and distinctive vertical black stripes that are unique in each individual. 
stripes are likely advantageous for camouflage in vegetation such as long grass with strong vertical patterns of light and shade. The tiger is one of only a few striped cat species, it is not known why spotted patterns and rosettes are the more common camouflage pattern among felids. The orangish color may also aid in camouflage as the tiger's prey are dichromates, and thus may perceive the cat as green and blended in with the vegetation. A tiger's coat pattern is still visible when it is shaved. This is not due to skin pigmentation, but to the stubble and hair follicles embedded in the skin, similar to human beards, colloquially 5 o'clock shadow, and is in common with other big cats. They have a mane like heavy growth of fur around the neck and jaws and long whiskers, especially in males. The pupils are circular with yellow irises. The small, rounded ears have a prominent white spot on the back, surrounded by black. 1. Kangaroo Roger, a buff red kangaroo who made his home at a sanctuary in Australia but achieved renown worldwide for his impressive musculature. Roger was rescued as an orphan joey, he was trapped inside his dead mother's pouch when a man named Chris Barnes discovered him, and decided to found a kangaroo sanctuary. That sanctuary was recently featured in a BBC documentary series called Kangaroo Dundee, Roger grew up to be the alpha male of the community. And, as the internet noted in sometimes uncomfortable awe, what an alpha male he was. The kangaroo stood 6 feet, 7 inches tall, and weighed nearly 200 pounds, according to the sanctuary. Every now and again, photos of him would make the rounds online, inspiring the same admiring words. Muscle-bound. Super buff. Massive. Beefcake. He grew up to be a kangaroo that people from all over the world have grown to love as much as we love him too. Red kangaroos are the largest living marsupials in the world, and the males box to establish dominance. Only the alpha male mates with the females in the group called a mob. Boxing abilities, therefore, are a useful skill for a male red kangaroo, and a physique like Roger's is a possible result. You just saw 10 most muscular animals you got to see. Which of all of these do you think is the most muscular of them all? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to leave a like and subscribe or this cat will scratch you.